Welcome to Blue Box PHP tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at adding Google item buttons and Google Shopping Cart. So the first thing I'm going to do is load our t-shirt store demonstration. Select the index page and rebuild it. So you can see we have demonstration t-shirt store with six t-shirts detail just shows a larger image and we have a add to cart button that yet hasn't been assigned to an item so the first thing we're going to do is actually create our user item google add to cart button so if we open the t-shirt tables and select the box data box and select new item we name this item Google BTN. I'm going to say it's of type Google Cart. Here now we have to select the price column associated with our product. And in our table it's price. And then we also have to select the image column. We only have one image column. And then we have to create a unique field. It tells us which products have been purchased. So we're actually going to create this from two fields. We'll click the ID. And we'll also select the, we'll do an underscore. And we'll select the product code. And we'll do another underscore. And we'll also give the product name so there's no chance of us selecting the wrong item. And then we have to add um, any additional options. Now with t-shirts what we're going to add is size and color options so if we select the add new option button and we we'll give it a name of size and we're just going to select the sizes from a text list if we had these sizes or any options actually within the table in a database we could select the list from the table or from the database using a query but for size and color we're just going to use straight text list inputs so small medium large extra large and xxl and select create option so now see we have the size option created and we're going to create select the add new option button again and this time we're going to call it color and we're going to give a color list white, yellow, green, navy and again select create option. We can see now we have two options size and color. Okay so that's our Google button now created so we now click OK open our data box and we can now see at the bottom of our list of items we've got the Google button I'll just drag it up underneath price. Okay, so we now have to associate this Google button with one of the fields. So with our data box selected, we'll go to select our layout tab. Most of the fields are already set, the image field, etc. But we want to come down to the add to cart field tag. And if we open the list, we've got Google button there, and we'll select that. And what we'll do now is select the page and rebuild the index page. Okay, so we can see we've got the size options and the color options that we just added, but we haven't got a Google Cart button yet. And that's because with Google Cart, we actually have a, a, an in-page cart button. So the buttons themselves won't appear until we've actually added the Google Cart, but that's quite simple. It's actually in the plugins. If we open the plugin list, we have Google Cart, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it in the header. So we'll place it here. So we'll select Google Cart, drag and drop into the header option. And if we now uh, if we open the header, we now see Google Cart's been added. And we'll rebuild our index page. Okay, so now we've got the Google Add to Cart buttons. And we've got the Google Add to Cart shopping list. So if we now select the Bootis t-shirt 
we'll select medium, color green, and add to cart. We can now see that we've got one product. Here's the product name we gave it, ID of two, the code TSW002, the name Bootis, the price 1249, a, a small image, and the two options that we selected, green and medium. We'll now also add another t-shirt, we'll add the Mensa, extra large in navy and add to cart and we can see that this product has also been added and we can now go to Google checkout okay we can also we now need to uh, set up the actual Google cart if we just uh, select the plugin that we've dragged into our web page right click and select setup plugin this gives, us our, this gives us our plugin options now at the moment with we this merchant ID that we see here is actually the sandbox sandbox merchant ID that uh, you can get from Google from Google Cart, and this allows you to do all the testing as we're doing here. What you need to do for this to be a live version of Google Cart is to go and register with Google, and they will then supply you with the merchant ID that you place here. This, this is the currency that we're using at the moment, which is US dollars. This is the actual uh, div that actually creates this Google Cart widget. You don't need to change this code at the moment. This is only here in case the actual widget description changes by Google itself, in which case we can update this code. But we don't need to change this code at the moment. We can say what position we actually want the cart to be in, and here we're just floating it right. This is just a CSS, direct CSS that we can put in here. This is the, how the widget's appearance. I'll uh, give more information on that in, the, in a second. And the last one of the last sections we have here is Google Analytics. With the Google Shopping Cart, you can actually use individual products for the uh, tracking analytics tracking. Um, if you decide to use this, you cannot use the Google Analytics in the page. So you know how you can actually you can actually use Google Anal Analytics to track uh, information about the web page itself. You cannot combine the page Google Analytics and the product items from Google Analytics. So you have to choose one or the other. So for this, we're not going to add the item. We're only tracking the page. We don't want to track individual items. So we leave this blank. And the last section is, is the actual sandbox selection. When this is selected, this uh, tells Google that we're only doing development trials. When we're actually going to publish the site, we have to uncheck this so that, and we have to uncheck this and also set your real merchant ID for the actual shopping cart to become active. <coughs> so going back to this field here, customizing the shopping cart widget appearance, if you go to a URL, then that, this actually brings up this web page. which allows us to do styling and customizing on our view cart. So for instance, we'll just very briefly, we'll just change the color of the top of the bar. So if we just, uh, we'll take from the demonstration, control copy and paste this into title bar. And once we, okay, so we now see this change the, change the effect of the, uh, of the uh, view cart header. So th there's, there's many options you can change within this view. And this actually gives you, in this box here, the CSS for the page. So what you need to do for Bluebox PHP is to select without the style bracket, without the style tags, you select the CSS, go back to Bluebox PHP and paste it within in the widgets appearance. Control V. And if we now select OK, and rebuild our page. You can see the, the changes have taken effect. So visit that website to make any changes that you want to do to your shopping, to your shopping cart appearance. OK, so that concludes the simple process of adding Google Shopping Cart to your website and Google Add to Cart buttons with multiple options, please visit uh, Google Shopping Cart 
for more information.